So finally, 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 the hierarchy at Borussia Dortmund has made the decision to sack Lucien Favre after two seasons in charge and now in his last year of his contract where Dortmund are currently fifth in the league and just suffered a heavy home loss to Stuttgart. 5-1. 5-1. And before that result, I was actually looking at a stunning goal scored by the American youngster Giovanni Reina. And then later on, I saw a report that they lost 5-1. And I'm saying, this is strange. This is rather strange. But anyways, okay. Typical Dortmund. Typical Dortmund. So, it's fine. It's fine. They're going to they're gonna just play the rest of the season and come in second again or third. But, guys, without Lucien Favre. So, the Swiss man who plays second in his first two seasons in charge only winning the German Super Cup during his time in charge. And people would always remember him for being the bridesmaid. Matter of fact, do you even remember the bridesmaids? You know what I'm saying? You remember whose wedding you went to? You don't really remember the bridesmaids like that. The point is, nobody remembers second. And Lucien Favre came in second. He wasn't able to channel the spirit of Otmar Hitzfeld and Matthias Sommer. Or even... Jürgen Klopp, who was the last Dortmund manager to win the Bundesliga. And Bayern Munich has been winning the thing for every single season since about 2012, the last eight seasons. It's ridiculous, man. Eight or nine, whatever, man. It doesn't matter. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And Dortmund are deciding to go forward without Lucien Favre. They invested a lot of money into this squad and it has not paid off whatsoever. And you have to blame the manager. He's the one who's calling the shots. No German Cup, no Bundesliga. Underwhelming in the Champions League despite tapping your group. And who knows what would have happened in the round of 16 with Lucien Favre in charge. I just spoke about this when I'm talking about my dream Champions League round of 16 matchups. I spoke about... Lucien Favre and you know and bam look at this he came to fruition they sacked him they sacked him so guys let me know your thoughts on Lucien Favre getting sacked as Dortmund manager look he didn't do too too bad you know he didn't do too too bad he got two points per game as Dortmund manager but guys Bayern Munich did better you need more than that you need more than that so look is it the right decision? I say yes. I say yes. You, you need, you need, you need, you know what I mean? You need new philosophy. You need new thinking at the club. And, you know, they, they're going to go forward without Lucien Favre in charge. So, guys, let me know how you feel about this. Let me know if you think it's the right decision or if you think Dortmund are making a mistake. Who do you think will be in charge? I didn't actually look too much into it to see who they're going to appoint. But could it be Maurizio Pochettino? That would be a good appointment though. But they'll probably go for a, a, a German manager or something. Who knows? Who knows? David Wagner maybe? David Wagner who just got sacked from Schalke? You never know. They make some weird appointments in Germany, man. You never know. So let's wait and see. I, I don't know. I don't actually know if a decision was made already. I didn't really look too much into it. But all I know is that Lucien Favre has been sacked by Borussia Dortmund. Are you going to win the Bundesliga now? Most likely not. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? You know, they're a selling club as well. So who knows? Who knows? Who knows? So guys, let me know if you think Dortmund would actually go on to win the Bundesliga this season or come in second again. I'm your boy Dominic Rich, just reporting some breaking news. Lucien Favre, the Swiss manager, has been sacked by Borussia Dortmund. So guys, if you're new, consider hitting the subscribe button. Smash the thumbs up button. Share the video with a friend. Consider becoming a member by hitting the join button. And until next time, from your boy Dominic Rich, peace out. Rich, squad.